check out this video. Every single Trump supporter out there, please answer me this question. This is what you call people who like to go down rabbit holes. That's what they call it nowadays, going down rabbit holes. I know that I know it's his liars. This is a liar. That's not what that's saying. The man isn't perfect. Neither is this guy making this video. But I will say this. This kind of false information is going to lead a lot of people to hell. So you can call me a liar, even though I don't think you know the definition of what a liar is. But I could call you a coward for you make a video slandering me and you block me so I can't see it. And I have to have somebody message me that video. I mean, if you really believe that you are standing on the truth, you would assume that you would want to confront me and face me and stop my lies, right? But I'm not calling you a coward, but that is an attribute of a coward. I call you a brother because I will give you the benefit of the doubt that you trust and believe in Jesus for eternal life, making you a brother. I don't know your understanding of the gospel, the doctrine that you believe, but again, I will give you the benefit of the doubt. And likewise, I will also give you the benefit of the doubt that you are extremely ignorant on what you are talking about. So first off, let me address the accusation and the slander that I am a liar because I used Matthew 24, 24 out of context because Trump has never claimed to be a Messiah or a prophet. I never said that he claimed to be one, even though he has claimed to be the chosen one. He has claimed to be this savior of America. I will digress there. I was using Matthew 24, 24 as a principle that we as believers can take that even the elect could be deceived in. Who loves this man right now? The elect. And I was pointing out in Matthew 24, 24, how there will be false signs and wonders by these false prophets like we are seeing right now with the Kim Clements and these other individuals who are prophesying about Trump and showing these great signs and wonders. Again, it goes back to the principle found in Matthew 24, 24 to not be deceived. And if Jesus is going to warn us as believers to watch out for deception coming from false messiahs and false prophets, who do you think fits that description right now? Joe Biden is not deceiving believers. Obama is not deceiving believers. Trump and his prophets are the only ones that fit that description. I know that you don't think that Trump is claiming to be the Messiah, but the religious Jewish individuals are claiming him to be the Messiah, claiming him to be the next King Cyrus, the King David of this generation. He is the only one that can bring peace to the Middle East with his Abraham Accords, a covenant that he could aff affirm. Uh, uh, who does that in Daniel 9, 27? Again, it is the principle found in Matthew 24, 24 to not be deceived. And my duty as a watcher, as a soldier of God, as a shepherd, is to guard God's flock from deception coming from this demonic world that we live in right now. Because I feel like Christians forget how this world is still under dominion from Satan, the prince of the power of the air, who disguises himself as an angel of light. And that is my belief. My understanding is that Trump is a false light to deceive Christians. But you think me trying to guard God's flock from deception is leading people to hell? Wait, so you think what somebody believes Trump to be will then lead them to hell. What does it have anything to do with heaven or hell? Heaven or hell depends on your faith and trust and belief in Jesus Christ for eternal life and being born again it has nothing to do with your political views and if you trust in Trump or not. But this is why I am disgusted as a believer to see the idolatry going on right now for this man. You, brother, are not following the commandment that Jesus has left us to be wise as a serpent and then innocent and gentle as a dove. Because what I see right now with Christians falling for the Trump deception is that they are not listening to the warning of 1 John 2, 15. To not love this world nor the things in this world. For the love of the Father is not found in this world. But people are clinging to Trump that he is going to be a type of savior down here in the flesh. Even though he has revealed who he is. He calls himself the father of the jab. He prides himself about Operation Warp Speed. Come on, brother. What does Revelation chapter 18 say about the whole world being deceived by pharmakeia? I mean, it really blows my mind. The discernment level of some Christians to not see what's going on right now. But oh yeah, that's right. It's because I go down rabbit holes trying to find 
God's wisdom and knowledge, searching and seeking. But that's a bad thing. We should stay on the surface level and really just trust trust what you know these politicians, these actors. Trump is literally an actor, by the way. WWE, The Apprentice, a multi-millionaire, billionaire actor. Now, just trust him on the surface level. Don't go down rabbit holes searching for wisdom and truth like the Lord tells us to seek and you shall find. Nah, nah, nah. I'm the liar. Oh, but before I carry on because I can feel myself getting worked up, I had to pray big time on this and I went to Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. I forgive you, brother, for calling me a liar. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must do also. I forgive you. But above all these things, put on love, and I love you, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Oh, I needed God's word right there to calm me down, to allow his peace to surpass all understanding, because I... I really get worked up when individuals cannot see the deception going on right now. Oh, but Matt, Trump talks about Jesus and Christian values. No, duh. That's how deception works. They deceive by lies. Right now, what you are witnessing is a false light bringing in all the world religions. If you just watch the Republican National Convention, you will see what I'm talking about. They are going to usher in this false light, false world religion how we are all one we all worship the same god trump claims jesus just to get your vote and to get your trust he is part of the club that you are not invited to now i will give him the benefit of the doubt because i do think he is a funny guy i think he is the best character there is on this world stage but at the end of the day it is all controlled this world system is controlled. And I'm getting sick and tired of hearing people say that, oh, God protected Trump on that stage. Oh, I guess he didn't protect the guy behind him. Screw that guy, right? But good thing that God protected Trump. Yes, God's providence is always there. He allows things to unfold. But to then claim that God put his finger there, protected Trump, but did not protect that guy behind him shows partiality. And I truly believe what we are witnessing right now is unbelievably spiritual in nature. And what happened at that rally was extremely spiritual indeed, and that's why it seemed all so odd and strange. But to claim that Trump is God's anointed and that he is a true Christian and he's going to usher in this great revival shows that you are ignorant of what's going on behind the scenes, who truly controls this world system. Yes, God is sovereign, but he's allowing this because if you understand eschatology, you will see the setup for the beast system for the Antichrist to come with a false peace who will sign a treaty with Israel and his enemies or her enemies to provide this false peace. And if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you can see all the puzzle pieces coming together of the end times with technology, with war and rumors of wars, with lawlessness, with Elon Musk being this kind of figure to be alongside Trump and he wants to put chips in the brains of individuals and everyone loves Elon because he's the cool billionaire. Again, it is all about deception, guys. But what really disturbs me about your video is to claim that I'm leading people to hell by pointing to Jesus. That's my biggest pet peeve with Christian MAGA Trumpers. Oh, oh by the way, MAGA is the highest level of um, being a witch warlock in the Church of Satan. By the way, just so you know, and Abrima Abramovic, who is a high-level occultist, a witch, claimed on film in an interview that Trump is a high-level witch or warlock, and he is going to reveal everything to the world, that he's going to open the eyes of individuals. Hmm, interesting. But I find it extremely disturbing, the idolatry going on, and claiming that people like me trying to point this out is leading individuals to hell when all I try to do is point people to Jesus, to focus your eyes upon Jesus, for he's the author and the perfecter of your faith, Hebrews 12, 2, and that we, as the justified in Jesus, live by our faith, trusting in him, not a politician, but somehow I am the deceived one. I am the bad one. If anyone wants to go live and talk about this, let's do it. You have 1.2 million people. If you want to slander me, let's go live and talk like grown men, like brothers in Christ. But either way, I love you. God bless and remember the just shall live by faith.